Hello and welcome back to the sixth and final section of this video course titled Wiring up your server, Windows and Android application. In this video titled Constructing your system, connecting all apps, we will show how all developed applications will work together. First of all, since we didn't create a built-in user account for the operator, we need to create one. To do so, start SQL Server Management Studio, connect to our database with entering correct credentials and press connect button. In Object Explorer, click on node databases, then on master courier database, then select tables and finally select dbo.users table and select edit top 200 rows. In fields U name and U password enter demo and for the U role enter operator with capital O. Click on any field below to commit change into the table. Now we can close SQL Server Management Studio and start our desktop application. Since we don't have a database connection string stored in the file desktop.ini, we need to enter connection parameters into connection editor. This we need to do only one time and our application will store this parameter in file for future use. After we enter correct credentials, Press OK and now login form will be shown. In login form enter credentials, demo for username and demo for password for operator and press login. Since we have a blank database, let's create two courier accounts and let's add some products. To do so, let's first click on the users button. Next click on the plus sign and enter values for username and password. For role enter courier with all small caps. As you can see, I created two courier accounts, C1 both for username and password and C2. And when we finish, we can close the user management window. Now we should add some products. We will do that by clicking on the products button on the main form. In new product window, enter data for several products in the same manner as for the user. When we finish, we can close product window. Next, we need to create several orders. We will do that by clicking on the new order button. In new order form, enter customer details and add several products for that order. We can add products by selecting products we want to add from the drop down box and enter quantity. And to add it, press on a button add. We can also remove the product from the list by selecting it in the grid and pressing the delete button. When we finish adding products to order, press save and close button. In the same way, create several orders. As you can see in the main form, we can see orders we created and they have status created. Next, let's assign created orders to a carrier. To do so, we need to press on a button assign orders. As you can see, orders with status created will be shown in the grid in the assign order form. We can assign order by clicking on the grid and selecting the order we want to assign and then selecting a courier from the drop down list to whom we want to assign order. Finally, click on the assign button. As you can see now in main form, we have three orders assigned and one is just created. When we finished with entering orders and assigning them to a courier, we can close the desktop application. In order for couriers to receive assigned orders, we need to start our server application. Since this is the first time we are running server, we can start server until we enter settings for it. To do so, click on the settings button. In settings form, enter server settings and database settings and when we are done, press OK button. Now button start is enabled, so we can start the server by clicking on this button. Be sure that IP address of the computer where you run server application and port are properly forwarded on the router and accessible from outside or connect for demo purposes your Android device to the local network. You can check is server accessible with the browser. Just type the IP address of the server and port and if you get web page with Datasnap server, server is accessible. Finally, we can deploy and start our Android application from Delphi IDE. I connected my phone with a USB cable and as you can see, test phone I'm using is Tesla 6.2 and it is listed as a device in device list. Next, from the menu, select project and choose deployment. In here, we can modify what to deploy to the device. 
leave it to the project default, just press deploy button and project will be compiled and copied to the device. Now we should have an icon in the Android device or we can run the project from Delphi IDE by pressing start. After we are deployed and started our application on Android device, we need to set up the IP address of the server. To do so, use credential we set to shown setting screen. In our case, that is CETT both for username and for password. In the edit box, enter the same IP address and port as we did in the browser. Press save to save entered data. Now we can access server and we can log in with courier credentials. When we log in, we will get the data from the server and we can see the orders assigned to logged in courier. We can deliver the order by selecting an order from the list of orders and in the next screen by clicking on the deliver button. If we start the desktop application again, we can see that some orders are delivered now and some are still with status assigned.